name is Audrey, and uh, I grew up in Detroit. And um, it was just me, my mom, and my sister, and um, pretty much grew up a really sensitive, shy girl, and a little different than most of the kids. And you know, throughout school, kind of felt that pretty heavy, you know, with the uh, bullying and you know, it's really feeling very different from everybody, and I had a big effect on me. I had an idea of well, who Jesus was and what God was, but I never really truly experienced, you know, God's love and, you know, what it really was all about. And, um, you know, I had a lot of rebellion. I started smoking and drinking at 11 and skipping school and not coming home. And that really kept going, you know, getting worse, 12, 13, and, um, you know, I think I was 13 when I took a bunch of sleeping pills at one point. I don't, I'm not really sure why I did, but I did. And um, I was just pretty lost and quite unhappy. Yeah, I was pretty anxious and numb. I met Aaron when I was 18, and um, I, I just, I don't know, there was something about him. I saw him, and I just, I felt like I already knew him. You know, I always say that. I felt like I already knew him. Um, so during, you know, our beginning years of our marriage, you know, I would feel anxiety here and there and kind of just push them away or found some way to just dance around it or, you know. At one point, I finally decided to quit drinking, and then... Um, I was flooded with, you know, all my thoughts that I was pushing away and yeah, for about three days in a row I was just crying uncontrollably and could not get control of my emotions at all. And um, one night I woke up and I felt like I was dying and I had to go to the hospital. I didn't know what was happening. And um, basically, you know, they just sent me home saying, you know, you're just having a panic attack. But, you know, I, I knew, you know, it just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle my emotions anymore. It was just overtaking me. And uh, after that, for about six years, I had anxiety, you know, for those whole six years. And I felt it was never gonna go away. And, I, yeah, I felt completely trapped by it. Um, I just felt very alone, and the only person I could go to was God. And I knew, I kind of knew that God was speaking to me in some way, you know. Um, I just knew I, there was something I was missing, and going to the Bible was really the only answer for me. We were searching for churches, and my mother was um, attending Life Bridge at the time, and uh, she kept asking us to come, and we kept putting it off. And um, once she told us that they were opening a new location with a bowling alley in it, um, I uh, let my husband know, and he's a big bowling freak, and he, uh, you know, he was pretty excited about it, so we decided to go check it out. Yeah, I started to feel the power over anxiety when um, I fully started to realize um, that with God I had nothing to fear, you know. Um, never really understood that, um, but God tells us uh, to not fear. It's over and over and over in the Bible, and um, I started to just be at peace with you know, whatever God is allowing in my life, just to trust God and He'll take care of everything. I decided at some point that um, I wanted to start talking about my experiences with my faith and, um, you know, the way that God has brought me through everything and um, using my talents to tell my story through my art. I definitely feel that everything that I went through was a gift, and when I look back on it, I, um, it's 
very precious time to me, even though it was really hard and I felt like it was never going to end. Um, I look back at it and I would do it again.